grateful to see so many people here. When I go home, I won't tell my wife you had to be here to get your diploma. Okay, good. Um, 4231, probably at the moment the, the most popular system in the world, I think. Real Madrid, Liverpool, not very well. Um, Manchester United sometimes. Uh, Chelsea, of course. Valencia, Atletico Madrid, Bayern Munich, although they'll probably change the 4-3-3 now. But you know, the 4-3-3 can, if you watch this session, it, it's kind of similar. So you'll, you'll see what I mean. Because I don't know any of these guys, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna call them by Real Madrid names. I prefer to use Barcelona, but, it, well, the defending, the, the part building from the back is more suited to Barcelona. The part building from the front is more suited to Real Madrid, I think. And, and again, this is a way of doing the 4-2-3-1, not the way. You can have all sorts of interpretations. This is just the way I like to do it. Now, you go, you've, just gone to your, um, you've just gone to your session, you've got your plan, uh, your plan in your head, and you suddenly find you've got half the field you thought you had, what are you going to do? Well, I already know it was going to be small, so I've kind of prepared, but this is a great situation for, for you guys to think, well, I'm still going to get my session in, but I'm going to do it in half the size. What am I going to do now? So. I normally go that way, so you can see from the side. Because it's longer, I'm gonna go this way. Um, and I actually think that's better because you can see the movements better from behind than from the side. So that's worked to my benefit right away, so that's good. Um, in terms of the spacing, obviously half the size of the field. So the spacing will be a little bit tighter, but you can still see, you can still get the idea. Um, so I just need you to use your imagination. I want you to imagine well, it won't be imagining the goalie because he'll be here. But the lads will just be in front here. And I want you to imagine that they're outside the box. And then we'll go from there. And likewise, at the, when we're in the attacking phase, you've got to imagine that there's a box there in between. It, so it'll be a bigger distance. So if we, if we can start with that, that'll be great. Right. I've got different colored pinnies here because, to me, one of the biggest things in this setup is the difference in the fullbacks in terms of the positioning from defending to attacking. Because 4 2 3 one's just a, it's a start position anyway, only. The number six is very vital. Uh, Alonso, where's Alonso? Where's Alonso? You? Good, good lad. Alonso's there. So he's going to get the ball a lot, so you'd better have good technique or there's going to be trouble. Um, Otsil, there. Bit of movement as well. And, and of course the striker, because I want you to see where the striker ends up. He'll end up in different positions. I watched a session yesterday with Dick Bate, who is my mentor, passed me on the air license many years ago, and I've learned so much from him, watching him over the years. And, and Dick did some similar things, which made me feel good, because I must be on the right track, because, you know, he's, he's a wonderful coach. Right, enough talking. Uh, you guys get ready. I just need the 4-2-1 of the 4-2-3-1. Four, two, one. But those in the other position, still get your pinnies up um, and just have a bob down here and sit down, everybody. Okay, and I need the goalkeeper too. Um, and I'll need a goalkeeper up here. Can you, uh, can you just buzz around and get those balls off the field for me? Thank you. Right. So can you set up in a defensive team shape just back there, so imagine, imagine this is the edge of the box, just outside the box. Four, four, two, one. And everybody else off the field. So, that, so seven and 11 off the field, the wide players off. So just, it's gonna take a little time. What number are you, eight? You're six, come on. So we're gonna go the old fashioned way for you older people here. Goalies number one, full backs number two, full left backs three, four and five centre backs, um, six, six and eight defensive mids. Well, six is the defensive mid, eight is what I call a link mid, ten's the attacking mid or shadow striker, um, eleven is the wide left, seven is the wide right, and nine is the striker. Okay, so you can go off, you can go off, you can stay. What position are you playing? You can. Um, Let's see. Well, we need a wide player there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. You're off. Go on. Have a sit down and watch. Okay. Right, so that's our, our basic setup on the four, two. Can you come here? 
Good. Can you go in there? Let's get it right. Four, two, one. So you're in there. So you're eight. You're six. Can you show me, just using the yellow cones, just using the yellow cones, where you think you should position? No, the whole team, using the yellow cones, think you should position when you're in an attacking phase of play, when the goalie gets the ball. Show me, just the yellow cones. Just the yellow cones. Now then, just to reiterate as well, I wouldn't do this session normally with the players, I'm doing it for you. So, a lot of stopping and starting. I'm going to ask some questions where I can. I'm going to get them to make decisions where I can, but I might have to use a command style to get it moving because we haven't got started yet. So, I'll help you. There, that one. Go on quickly. That one. Here. What, what are you, centre back? There. You're here. Coming in. You're there. And you're there. And you're there. Yellow cone. Good. Now give me the ball. Give me the ball. Kick that ball off. So that's your attacking setup. Okay? Does everybody understand? So we've got both fullbacks pushing on at once. We've got number six, Alonso, going to sit in. We're going to try and play through him. I will play through the, through, uh, the two centre backs. Uh, Pepe and Ramos. We've got Marcelo pushed on. We've got um, Abelo pushed on. What's your name? In the team? Come on, do you not know? You're Kedera, but you're a little bit shorter than Kedera. And then what are you? You don't know Real Madrid? Otsil. Right. Get in your rightful position in the middle. So you're the pivot player. Right. Can you remember that? Because what I want to do now is defending team shape again, quickly. Quickly, defending team shape. Quickly. Because we need to move it on. Good. I want to play to the goalie. All I want you to do is pass through the team, run it forward. When you get to almost the end line where those odds are, play it back through the team, get it back to the goalie. Goalie gets it to me, defending team shape again. See if you can do it. Are you ready? Play. And have some talking, let's see you. Good. And pass, good. Get it into your wide players, your full backs. Run it forward. Bring everybody forward with it. Bring everybody forward. Can you switch it? Good. Bring it forward. Get it to me. You've lost possession, defending team shape. Back in again. Good. So that's my favorite way of doing it. Um, just to move it on, I think some of you probably have the fullback push on, centre back across, centre back across, he becomes the last player, other fullback tucks in, so we only attack down one side. What I like about the 4 2 3 1 is we attack down both sides with both fullbacks, so it's less predictable, I think, for the opposition. But Alonso there becomes a really key player. Now, if you like, if you don't like just one player playing six, if you've got eight and six who can rotate, so we might have Kedra drop in and Alonso push on. You can do that as well. When I say stop, guys, remember, just stand still. Ready and play. Stand still. So already we've got Alonso going walkabout because he thinks he's in Australia. Come on, back in the bush. Get over here. You're here. You're there. Come on, back in the bush. Back over there. Get your position sorted. Give me that ball and let's look at this. You see, I'm not having a go at him. It's his first time. If he does it wrong again, I'll kill him. Right, listen. Alonso, you are so important because the whole team depends on you. If we lose, you're going to get the blame. So you must keep your position. Unless you talk to Kedder and say, Let, I'm, I'm off, and then Kedder tucks in for you, okay? Sorry? Oh, he just said he did that. That's fine. Sorry, I'm wrong. Okay, good. So you were already doing it. Perfect. Now look at, let's look at the setup. Triangle, diamond, triangle, triangle, diamond, triangle. I like to get all the players off at angles to each other so that we're not playing in straight lines, not linear. We're off at angles. So what I like to try and do is my number six, defensive, number eight, link, 
Number, number 10, my shadow striker, or my attacking, my attacking uh, midfielder. I like to try and get them at angles of support to each other. So if, if you make a run in there, today, where are you going to go? Just to keep that nice angle of support. Yeah, and then look at your body position. If, you, if you're looking there, look at his body position, body position, body position, body, pod, yeah, and he's already side on, side on, side on, perfect. If we're in straight lines and I'm looking to get it from there, I might be inclined to do this instead of that. Right, defending team shape again. Quickly. I'm running out of time. Good. Short and tight. This time, play it quickly, two touch if you can. Get it into the wide player, get it back in the midfield. Transfer it to the other side, get it to the end, get it to me, and then defense team shape again. Play. Try to play through Alonso because he's the main man. He's the main man. Good. And try and turn facing forward, not back. Good. Now we step. And stand still. Now then, as we step up, you can see it's very attacking, so we're prone to what? Transition as in, yeah, counter-attack. So as these guys come forward, they've done the job, they've got good spacing. Now as they come forward, you've got to tuck back in, so we're safe, yeah? So tuck in, wide, and then as we go forward, tuck back in, and then we've got this. Get it to me, defending team shape. Can I have two strikers in, please? Can I have two strikers in, please? Right. So your job... Your job, because we're, because we're condensed for space, we'll just have them shadow it first, and then we'll see if we can do it properly. So you two just get in there. Um, in behind the two midfielders in front of the centre-backs. You guys are going to try and stop them from playing from the back. We'll have a 3v2 at the back. We've got plenty... Of, we should have enough space to make it work. Just shadow it for now, and then I'll say pressure, and then we can pressure. Ready? Play. Just shadow them. Kind of get in the way. Good. Look at Alonso if you can. Look at Alonso if you can. Might have been dangerous in a game, but it's all right. He kept it. Can we, can we change the position through Otsil? Can we not change it from there to there? Can we change it? Good. Get it to me. Defensive team shape. Now you guys can try and stop it because that was good. You guys can stop it if you like. Are you ready? Yeah. Play. Brave, but that's good. And he, I, I'm already happy with Alonso. Left footer as well. Yeah, play it. You guys can... Re yeah, good. Back to me. Back to me. Defense, uh, defending. Now a midfielder in. Midfielder in here. Hurry up. So now we're playing against three. See if we can get out. Now, I love to play this way. If you've got the talent to do it, this is my favorite way of getting out from the back. Don't be like Liverpool against Stoke, my team Liverpool, about three weeks ago when they're trying to play from the back and Stoke manages really clever. He pushes three on and then he pushes four on and Liverpool still try and play from the back and they lose, was it 3-0? Because they get getting the ball intercepted. Only try it when it's on to try it. If it's not on, don't do it. So you're hoping the opposition coach doesn't work out how to stop it, i.e. usually push three on and go 3v3 at the back. Ready, play. You, Grace, try and stop it. Good. Okay, back to me. Quickly, quickly. What I'm going to ask you this time, keeper, um, I'm going to ask you to try and play through your back three, okay, rather than the others, because I want to make it a bit more difficult to see if we can, we can make that 3v2 work. Ready, play. See what's on. Yep, yeah, oh, careful, good. If you can't do it, you've got to go. Good. And hold it there. So you see, what's your... Cade. Cade was really clever. Do you see what he did? I put him in midfield. He obviously listened to what I said, and he pushed in and made a three. Do you see that? That's, that's a kid listening and thinking and, and going, you know what, I can, I can solve this. Well done. Well done for doing it, but not for... You didn't help me out, by the way. But it's all right. Are you ready? You stay out this time. Because we want it to work. Play. Good. Work through Alonso if you can. Good. 
Tremendous. Well played. Can we switch it? Can we switch it? Brilliant. Get it to me. Defending team shape. Good. So that's a great start. And I'm on time. So, different, so, another way